Okay, we're gonna do a build using a P41, a Sony P41, and an OtterBox 3250. Um, it's a little bigger case than a 1040. It's a deeper case. Why I want to use this case is I want to put D externals. Um, it'll be a pipe through. And what I did was, first thing I did was I put my P41 in. And this one has foam. Maybe some of them don't have foam, they're different foam. I cut the foam out already for this case. So what I did after I did foam, I have a um, <clears throat> front cover for a P41. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to mark my holes out where I want to drill for my P41. So I have a front cover and I just put that cover in there. And all I'm going to do then is mark the center of my flash or the center of my lens. Now I could also print out a template for this camera, but I, I kind of like doing this way because I know that uh, this is where my camera is going to sit. With a template, you're not always sure. Now for this board build, I'm going to use a uh, a uh, Bigfoot board. So I'm going to have I have a template ready to go, and all I all I'm going to do is cut. They give you a template with the board, and I put two pieces of tape, one at the top, one at the bottom, and I'm just going to center that down there where I want it. Now I want to keep it a little bit off the top bottom because my batteries are actually going to be on the uh, lid. So once I have that down there, hopefully straight. My eyes are always a little crooked. Now you can mark these in different ways. I'm going to use a centering punch. Let's put that in. It's going to mark a hole for me. You could use a punch or anything that's going to make a mark there so you know where to drill your holes. Now I'm going to be using a hot HPWA Fresnel, so I'll be using a 3A standoff with this build. Once I have that out, I just got to drill my holes, pull my template back off and drill my holes. Okay, I'm going to, I got them marked and I can drill my holes now. I'm using a 964 drill bit for these. You can use whatever works for you. Now I don't, the center one I'll drill, but I won't drill it all the way. And I'll just get enough to, oh, that kind of went through. But that's enough to give me a guide hole for my four snow bit. Okay, I'm going to drill. My hole for my Fresno, one inch. One inch hole. And I drill them and clean up, clean everything up. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, we we want to now put the uh, standoffs in. Sorry, it's hard to get everything and be able to. So I'm going to. These we got these standoffs from uh, big um, www.bfoutdoors.com when I ordered the Bigfoot board. Um, works real nice. They are a real nice set of standoffs. They're nice and small. We want to put our standoffs. And I'll take these off when I get the board back on and I'll put a little bit of goop underneath the head. But for right now, you know, drop that one. For right now, I just want to put them in. And get my board set. So I do have a little bit of leeway where I can move the board with just the play in the holes that I drilled.
I hope you guys can see it's kind of hard to be in view of the camera and get my hands in here. Okay, I have my four standoffs in. Okay, now I'm going to lay the board in there on top of my standoffs, and I'm going to screw those down. Now, I didn't tighten the outside ones real tight in case i got to move just a little bit. So, let's get these in. This is where it's nice because this one here doesn't line up as well as it should, and I can move things around. After I get all the screws in, my board's mounted, then I can go through and tighten up the outside. Now, one of the things I like to do is Make sure my PIR is centered because sometimes when you drill, that drill bit will move just a little bit. And well, that sucker is really good, so we're in good shape there. And like I said later, I'll take these screws out and put a little bit of goop underneath, underneath them, and that'll help seal them. I really like to make sure that when I drill a hole, I like to have it sealed well with goop. Um, and I got my four screws here, and the standoffs work real nice. This is for the Bigfoot board, this is my sensitivity. From a PIR, if I'm um, getting too many um, false, false pictures, I can turn this. 12 o'clock is normal setting. This is my delays, and this is my on and off switch. And with the Bigfoot board, my batteries go right into holders. So it's a real nice, easy build because um, the switch and everything's on the board. It makes it a whole lot easier to make to do this build. Okay, next I'm going to jump up. So the holes I, the holes I did, I uh, marked out for my lens and my flash, and I'm going to drill these holes. I'm doing them on my desk. You can drill this somewhere else. Now for the uh, flash hole, and I'm just going to find center. I'm done drilling I want to clean everything up get everything out of there clean up my holes because there will be burr marks 